Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new unboxing video. Today I have just one big box, but it should be filled up with lots of amazing uh, vintage toy goodies and uh, it actually comes from my friend uh, Mikuru. I have like unboxed another package of her like it's not that she sends me these as gift gifts no I mean I purchased from her um, I can also a link the other video here <laughs> uh, where I unboxed uh, the stuff that I bought from her um, before and I can also link down below her um, like her vintage uh, account and eBay Kleinanzeigen etc. So that you can check out if she maybe has stuff um, that you are interested to buy because I know that uh, currently she also has keepers for sale etc. So um, yeah, it's a mixed batch of things that should be in here. So a little bit of different toy lines. You remember last time I purchased lots of Lady Lovely Lock stuff so there's a little bit of that but also pony and some other things. So let's just get into it and have a look. So, okay, at first I can see that she has sent me <laughs> some sweets again. Okay, some strawberry pockies. I haven't had pockies in such a long time, um, but I actually always think that they are nice because they are not they're just a very small snack, so very much appreciated. Thank you. And here's a little note and some stickers, I think. <laughs> Thank you. Let's smile, be joyful. Okay. Yeah, I will definitely have fun with the new stuff. She just said, have fun with the new stuff. Anna, that's actually her real name. I say Mikuru because, I don't know, that's how, how she's called on most of uh, the social media platforms. Um, okay, the box in itself right now doesn't look like too interesting because everything is wrapped very carefully. So let's start over here, okay? And, aha. Uh -huh. I can already see something colorful in here. And yeah, I said I purchased lots of Lady Lovely Love stuff from her. She loves Lady Lovely Love, but some of the stuff that she buys, she just can't keep when she buys lots. And then she keeps just some things and the rest then she decides to sell. And this is some Lady Lovely Love stuff. The two missing hind peaks for me. Okay, let's have a look. Super nice hair. I mean, I can always do some some little styling, but it's super nice. Someone had probably just <laughs> like uh, braided it in front. Oh, they are really cute. It's a little bit strange if you're considering that Lady Lovely Locks has dolls like real like like Barbie dolls just a little bit smaller very cutesy etc and then they also have these which are like I don't know they're not supposed to be humans probably they're more fairies they're called the hide and peaks and there's three of them and um, one of them I've had for a very long time since since I started actually with Lady Lovely Lock so maybe in 2020 I bought her or something I, I have her here I'm prepared because I knew <laughs> that I would have these two in here. So here are the three hidden peaks that are out there. So I sometimes think that these are very similar, but like one is purple and this is pink. And then the hair colors are just reversed. Here's more pink in the hair and here's more purple. Uh, and it's, it's, yeah. So sometimes when I saw them online, I was not sure, ah, oh, which one do I have? Mm. And now she had the two that I was missing, so I was like, they are not ex especially cheap or anything. They are like, I think I purchased them for 
uh, I don't remember. Honestly, her prices are always good, but she's also not throwing them out for, I don't know, a couple of euros, just I think 20 each. I think that's that's what it was. Um, yeah. So, I don't know exactly what the story is with these. So, the Lady Lovely Locks toy line from Mattel from the late 80s, so 86 to 89. Um, it's really, really like fairy tale like, like with princesses and castles and, 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 and the uh, kingdom and, and cute little animals, etc. And there are these hidden peaks, and I think they're very shy and they're hiding in the bushes or in the greenery or on the flowers. And only Lady Lovely Locks and her friends are friends with them and can talk to them or whatever. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not sure because I'm not very far into the Lady Lovely Locks um, like story concerning. I know I know there's a TV show and there's there are the um, the audio cassette tapes, but these were not in so far. So I don't know what's about them, but they're really sweet. I think they actually come with these <laughs> strange headbands. Uh, I have like none of mine has, has such, such a headband with this like papery like uh, glittery material um, yeah, I, I really rarely see them with the dolls and it's probably even more difficult to find them uh, separate but of course they also came with a uh, pixie tail uh, originally I have so many pixie tails I can probably put one on them I don't know I probably don't have the correct one but that should be fine. So yay! The Lady Lovely Locks Hide and Peaks. I think the um, green one is called, per is called Perky Peaks and this one is then Pearly Peaks and I think the one I already had was Sunny Peaks. So yeah. <laughs> there you go. Little Lady Lovely Locks fairies. Um, I mean who knows maybe I can find those like uh, headbands at one point. Who knows? What, what else in here? So it's not, not tons and tons of stuff, but some of the things like these are a little bit more like pricey things. So, um, okay, let's grab this big bunch here because I think yeah, these should be the cassette tapes. She's also <laughs> into all of the 80s, 90s children's cassette tapes that are often related to uh, our beloved toy line. And um, she often buys in bulk and the ones that she already has then like, hey, are you interested? And I was interested in quite a lot of them. So let's have a look. Ooh. Oh my goodness, how... Wow. <laughs> Where's the opening? Ah, here. Okay, what do we have here? So there is another one, Lady Lovely Locks. Number four. That's really good. This one was missing because I have, I think, one, two, three, and then it was six or five and six or whatever. Um, definitely four was missing. Yes, so more Lady Lovely Locks goodies. I think if I remember most of the other stuff should be Barbie. <laughs> ah yeah, and some Rainbow Bright. Ah, okay. Yeah. Two more Rainbow Bright cassettes, number five and six. Yeah, I can uh, yeah from, from the numbers I definitely cannot remember which ones I have, but I can remember if I have those from the covers. And no, I don't have them, so I was correct. Uh, because in between purchasing these and then uh, going toy hunting, I found some you, you saw probably in the last video um, on the video before that, because I don't know which which uh, I will upload before. Maybe I put this in and then the last toy hunt after that. I don't know. But yeah, these I do not have. So small look at those. Here's Lady Lovely Locks. Number... Four, so in German, obviously, Lady Lockenlicht, der blaue Stein, the blue stone, and Rainbow Bride, Regina Regenbogen, what are they called? Und die Regenbogenkinder, so and so the color kids, and 
die Kristalle des Glücks. Crystals of Luck. <lacht> so. Okay. Ja, yeah, the rest is Barbie. Um, the Barbie cassette tapes I really, really enjoy listening to. Because they are, somehow they are like the most, like I feel most engaged. I like the characters the most. I don't know. And um, they are very similar to the cassette tapes I used to listen to, which were the Wendy cassettes. I have a lot of them back because it's more, I don't know, it, it feels, so these are really like whimsical and really um, like fairy tale like. These are more like, like bounded in reality, well, not, not really reality, but you know what I mean. It's, it's in our, it's, it's in our world, everything. So, um, which I think, I, I always think I should like these more, but for some reason, I don't know, for cassette tapes, these, these to me are more fun to listen to. So I have number three, number 10, number 12, number 17, and number 13. And I also took one which does have a cover, uh, because I like to listen to them. It's not only about the covers for me. So I, I remember this one I once found at a flea market. Uh, Barbie and the surf shop, but um, empty. So I only have the, I only have the cover. So now I have the cassette tape to go with it. So these are the ones produced by Europa. So uh, after this, so you can see, this is definitely still the 80s Barbie logo, which was used up until maybe uh, 92 or something. After that, the logo definitely was changed, and um, after that. They stopped this line of Barbie cassette tapes and they started a new one from a different, uh, I think from Carousel. Um, and uh, these look different, but I kind of, I prefer, I prefer these, so. Number three and number 10. Here is the surf shop again. I'm not, <laughs> I've had this cover for so long and I, I am curious to know what the story is, what the story is about. Here is another one, 13. Ooh, the Enchanted, no. Oh, well, the Enchanted Circus. That sounds nice. And this is something with a ballerina, Barbie and the Prima Ballerina. So, or Barbie becomes a Prima Ballerina. So let's see, I don't have the cover, but I have the cassette. Hello, I have to quickly step in here because I, um, it's just an hour after I filmed the video. But I have researched about this cassette tape. I just wanted to know how the cover looks like. And when you search for it, Barbie uh, would Prima Ballerina, uh, there is no cover. And I um, found out that when you like uh, compare them to the usual cassette tapes, they are blue. And um, I mean, they have the same font, but they have a number. This one does not have a number. So it's a special uh, episode somehow. And uh, it's also way shorter than the other ones. And I was like, man, probably this came with a Barbie. So this was not released normally like, like the other ones in, in just separately. And I'm correct. Uh, I just quickly researched because it's from 88 or 87, 88, some, somewhere around that time. Can you see? There she is. This is the my first Barbie, meine erste Barbie, so the German version, my first Barbie set, I had this cassette tape, so it's a ballerina Barbie, so this whole cassette, uh, I, I also listened to it, uh, it's um, it's how she becomes a ballerina, this is the set and this was included there, I also have it in here, uh, this is the Barbie journal, A7, but here you can't see it just looks like a gener generic cassette so they probably didn't have the real production cassette tape yet um, and it looks a little bit different but this is essentially the my first barbie the ballerina version 87 88 and um, this is the cassette tape or, uh, that belongs into it i just wanted to let you know so there is no cover or uh, anything for this one. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I remember those were the ones that I bought. I think she has some more Wendy for me, but uh, she will send it in another box. That's really cool. 
but I think these were all the cassette tapes and the rest should be yeah dolls and ponies or one doll which I'm assuming this is because it's not pony size which I'm super excited for ah, ah. it is another moon dreamers doll you guys I don't know how she does it how she acquires them I never see them uh, for sale uh, super rarely and oh, I love it she still has pink hair which is nice I couldn't remember if in the picture that she showed me she had still pink hair this is one of the very, very small ones I think she's called um, Bitsy or, or what, what was the name Blinky Blinky I think this is Blinky and she came actually with the polar bear um, this toy line um, I introduced you to this toy line through um, the other the video where um, Miko sent me uh, some of the moon dreamers she had so I bought some from her and these were the first moon dreamers things ever uh, if you watch that video I have linked it already you can link it down below again I'm explaining a little bit more about this toy line but it's actually a Hasbro toy line 86 only one wave very very sadly and they glow in the dark so this is like amazing the hair glows in the dark and she also yeah she comes with some of her original clothes so i don't know exactly which part but probably the moon here glows also in the dark also this one does not come with shoes like ah um but the shoes actually also would glow in the dark and then some some other things like the or something but yeah there is also uh, there are a couple of uh, animals and she was released with a polar bear that's a white polar bear like this size I think it's called Ursa and uh, uh, it's also glow in the dark with some stars and has got a saddle super cute I don't have it but I have the doll for it faces oh my they are to die for they are so cute the design and everything of these of this doll line is amazing. Um, a little bit dirty, but I can wash that. And she comes with the tights, which is also amazing. And um, yeah, you can still see what her <laughs> hairstyle used to be. Yeah, she had pigtails, so I will definitely do that again. So something like this. Amazing that it is. Actually, it has really good condition. So um, maybe it used to be a little bit more like stronger pink but uh, because one of my moon dreamer stalls is basically has become blonde although she was a pink haired one so I'm assuming this glow in the dark hair also fades but she is amazing so blinky from moon dreamers yay and I think the last thing because as I said it's not like I have tons and tons of things in there but some of them are a little bit more pricey like also she and and the ponies the three ponies and I was so excited when she showed me oh what's that actually oh she has given me a comb did she tell me that she wanted to put it in? I don't remember oh I love these these are the my little pony um like moon and star shaped combs looks so dreamy they would actually from the shape also go very well with the moon dreamers but no it's it's my little pony <laughs> thank you um, and now let's get to the ponies three of them let's start with this very brightly yellow one this is not a rare pony um, I see it kind of all the time I could could have bought it multiple times but it was always just like I'm not the biggest fan of this um, pony line sure it's generation one so I love all generation one ponies but uh, the twinkle eyes somehow are not my I don't know I'm not super into them but when when she had a couple of other ponies which I was like <gasps> I want to have these and then she was like asking me and, and some of the others I would throw throw them in for for a very good price I was like, okay, I actually don't have masquerade. So, yeah, the twinkle eye ponies, I mean, in German Augenstern ponies, they have these like 
I cannot even say they have gems in their eyes. Actually, actually their eyes are gems. And um, when they are like matted, like when, when they are played with a lot, etc. And the eye crystals, they, they are like... <clears throat> then the ponies can look blind and it's a little bit creepy. And it's not a, a pony line that I remember from my childhood, so I never was huge into them. I have quite like one, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven twinkle eye ponies, so it's not that I don't have any of them. But like this one, um, yeah, she was released, I think the first twinkle eye pony set from 85, if I remember. So it should be uh, year four of uh, generation one, my little pony. And um, these are released. Um, everywhere so that she was released in, in Europe and Germany etc so she has wonderful colors a lovely yellow pony with like actually four different like green hair colors and the last one actually is not that green but it, you could consider it green because it's a typical um, neon yellow green so she is in amazing condition because from the eyes that you can see here this is lovely she doesn't look blind at all and uh, the hair is very smooth and the colors are amazing. I mean, you can't even see that very well, I think, on the camera, but these are also two different bluish, greenish, turquoise tones. Uh, in German, she's also called a masquerade because, I mean, she has these masks here, so it's like mask ball or something. So masquerade, masquerade, the word also exists in German. So she's she's perfect she might be one of my favorite twinkle eyes now because uh, I have a couple of twinkle eyes where the eyes are not so nice uh, this one definitely is so yay and I actually really like this pose I don't have very many ponies in this pose um, okay and here are two ponies which I'm super excited for because they are from pony set um, that I love but I have not a single pony off. And um, I mean, yeah, you could argue that I have ponies from the first set of this set. Um, no, I'm not talking about the princesses. Um, there are other sets where it's the first set and the second set, like rainbow ponies, there are different sets, etc. Um, but that's also the twice as fancies, and there's a second twice as fancy uh, pony set. Oh, she's cute. This is Merryweather, right? Yeah, this is Merryweather. <sighs> Guys, these were not released in Europe. Um, well, in Europe, yeah, they, they were released in certain countries, but not in Germany. So they are pretty hard to find. And when you find them, they are pretty expensive. This one not so much, it's probably one of the most common ones and um, I have found her a couple of times online but I was always like, eh, I don't know, it's still too much, I don't want to pay, whatever. Um, or she was uh, sold already, so um, I don't know why she is actually one of the more common ones. If, I don't know, it's maybe also that her pose is not so much so well beloved, but she has, she has rainbows all over her. So, purple body, uh, light yellow hair, and the twice as fancy ponies, maybe you remember when I was talking about them in multiple other videos, they are always ponies that have not one rump symbol here, but they have their symbols all over the body, also here. And there's always one symbol at the cheek. And she is, she's so colorful, she's so bright and happy and yeah. <laughs> Looks like very well, like good weather. So she's merry weather. And um, the second um, set of the Twice as Fancies was released one year after the first set. So the first set was from year five and this is from year six, so from 87, 1987. Oh, she's very, very cute. And um, perfect condition. <laughs> uh, I, I can't see anything on her. Uh, She's perfect. Hair is really nice. Hair's a little bit okay. I can see here a couple of plugs missing, but I just I think let me yeah I have I just purchased this hair color and I have another pony that I have to rehair with this hair color so I can just put a couple of plugs 
Ah, uh, also for her in there. And the last pony, <clears throat> which is, I mean, I cannot really decide if it's my favorite from the set because I don't have the others, but she is definitely, she was very high on my like wish list for ponies that I really wanted. I don't, don't want to say grail or anything, but like, because this pony set has at least two more that I really want. Um, It's Night Glider. Ooh. Oh, she is she is she is so wonderful in terms of like her symbols look so dreamy and it's like 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 the night sky but also with planets in between. So it's it's really a celestial theme you could say. Uh, other than that, she's like a normal um, like blue body color and normal just uh, one color hair so white it's supposed to be white she was never pink so that's but, but the symbols oh this is so lovely and it's my favorite pony pose so the posy pose and yeah she has two like spots of like pony cancer on her but I will try to uh, get rid of them so I will directly start with this and hair such a nice condition. I'm really wondering how and where Mikuru get the, got them so that she would sell them to me. Um, because I, I have to say, I well, I said Mikuru, so she, she wants to make some money with the stuff, of course, but uh, she her prices are super fair and um, I didn't pay uh, the high prices that Night Glider goes online. Um, I paid 60 for her. I think I'm um, let me let me not, not lie but I think 30 for her. 10 for her. Well, and the others I already said. So, um that's way more than I usually pay for a pony, but at some point I realized um I would never be able to get night lighter any cheaper and from Germany and from a good friend. So like totally okay with that price so here she is so it's like different moons and this could also be a full moon but or it is another planet here's a planet that looks like a Saturn with a ring multiple stars and also on her cheek is a moon and two stars so this is so dreamy this is so lovely her hair is really really smooth it's white as I said she has done a lovely curl on the tail and the two are spots of pony cancer one is here so it's not even a spot that's really noticeable but one is in midst uh, the symbols here so not here here <laughs> this one um, I will definitely try to get to get rid of this I will apply the um, hydrogen peroxide on it every day apply new apply new apply new and then most often I, I could um, get them uh, pretty much faded, so <sighs> wonderful. She has lovely lavender eyes. I'm so in love with them. I mean, I'm also in love with Masquerade because she, she really has a lovely color scheme. Okay, is she able to stand? Not that good. I sometimes wonder why, what they did to this pose because it's actually uh, a pretty stable pose but then there are ponies in this pose where it seems like one leg is longer or one and then they are like but you can get her to stand this leg is shorter I don't know why <laughs> um, oh my goodness actually that's it there's nothing more in the box um, other than the stuff that you see here so it's not a huge long video hopefully but so many lovely things and I didn't want to put more boxes. I have more boxes to unbox, but I think I leave it at that. Moon Dreamers, Barbie cassettes, oh, My Little Ponies, Lady Lovely Locks, a couple of Rainbow Bright cassettes. And I will definitely <laughs> um, munch a couple of them today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little um, pony and other vintage toy unboxing. So thank you for watching. See you real soon and may the ponies and all the other toys be with you.
Bye.